Hello everyone and welcome to AI Python. I'm here again with another video of Python tips and trick playlist. In this video you will learn to store the confidential information or the secret information such as username, password or the API key in Windows environment variable and read them in Python without actually writing those sensitive information directly in the code. This is going to be super useful as you don't have to mention this information directly into the code because you may be sharing or showing this code to someone else in the future. The method is very simple and I'll guide you through each line of code and hopefully you'll get it quickly. In case not, then write them in the comment section. We'll help you out. You can find the detailed content with the source code for this project on our website www.aipython.in as well as on our GitHub repository AI Python India. Thanks for subscribing this channel. And in case if you're watching this channel for the first time, then welcome to AI Python. If you find the content suitable, valuable and usable, then please subscribe the channel. Give a thumbs up to the video. If you like the content, it definitely gives us a motivation to produce more informative content like this on a regular basis. If you're watching this channel on Facebook, then like AI Python's Facebook page from the link shown on your screen. And if you're watching it on YouTube, then hit a like button and do subscribe the channel. Now, see this piece of code. Um, here I am entering my email ID like aipython.india.gmail.com and I need to write my password. Uh, do you really want to know my password? You might be, but I'm not willingly want to share this uh, information with you because this is my secret key and I don't want to share with you. This might happen with you also in some of the projects where you want to, um, let's say, write some information which is confidential to you. You don't want to explicitly mention them in the code. So do we have any solution for that? Of course, we have solution like, for example, one you can do is you can store a text file and read the text file information, let's say password or maybe Facebook login, um, user ID or password or API key or some other sensitive information and you can read that file and get the information over here uh, but that that is also not advisable because of the security issues the best method is to store them in an environment variable in windows and then read that environment variable to get your information so that you are writing your code building the code you are using those information but that is not explicitly mentioned in the code you might have a question that why should i use those information Okay, so if you have heard about Selenium, there are a lot of cool stuff that you can make out of uh, Selenium. So the Python and Selenium makes some powerful packages to automate your browser. You can log into LinkedIn or you can log in automatically to Instagram, or Facebook, Twitter, you can send feeds. So there are a lot of possibility where you need to use that secret information. I'm going to tell you that how you can store those information in environment variable and you can use Python to read those information without explicitly mentioning in the code. So now you are going to learn how you can store those information in a Windows environment variable. So for that you have to go to system uh, from the control panel in case if you don't know how to navigate uh, you open the control panel expand it to small icon and then go to system you can find the system in the system you can go to the advanced system settings and in advanced system settings you can go to environment variables here in the environment variable you can use uh, for example I have used current weather data I have a lot of information stored which I don't want to share either I'll show you how to create that in system variable so let's say you want to store your information for example I wanted to store my email ID although I'll not write the correct email ID but it's just for the demonstration purpose let's say my email and I want to write my email at domain.com right domain.com so this is the information my email my email at domain.com so this is my email id for the timing i just accept the fact that this is my email id okay all right and similarly i want to store the password let's say uh, my password this is just a variable name which will be used by python to get the data and uh, you can say pass one two three four five six again this is 
this not I am using uh, this kind of password but just this is just for the demonstration purpose so pass uh, in the lower case and one two three four five six all right okay so what I did I just now enter my information my email ID and my password into the environment variable and right now if you just press ok and ok and you wanted to use it you might not be able to use it because the system takes reboot kind of thing to get those variable accommodated into the environment so that other program like python can read those information so if you have done like this just reboot your system and start again in this method you have learned to store a secret information in the environment variable now in the next step we'll see and how you can use python to read this information from environment variables so you have stored all those information in windows environment variable now it's time to read them in python in order to read them in python you need a module called os so we'll import os module so this i'm sorry so this os module has um, capability to interact with uh, the environment variable so you can use this module so now the question is how can get the information of my email id stored in environment variable and use them in python okay so we'll use os dot environ that's it and the information that is stored in environment variable is like a dictionary so we can access the value of that dictionary using key so the key will be the name that we wrote like my email you remember the name of variable for my email id was in my email and the value was my email id if you know about dictionary you can easily get your actual email id using environment variable in case if you don't know about dictionary we have created a video on dictionary in python you can go and check out the link will be available in the description as well as in the i button at the top right corner okay with this method you got to know your email id now what about the password i can use the same method like os dot environ sorry environ and my password right so now without actually writing your email id and password you can access those so i'm storing my email id in email underscore id variable and my password in password all right okay let's run the program and see whether i'm getting email id and password or not so i'll run the program and here it is my email id is my email at domain.com and password for this email ID. i have just tried to format the string and put the email id and password in the same so my email id dot com is I mean it's just a formatting like if let's say if I say I don't want to print the email ID again so I will just delete this one and we'll say password is and password all right so it'll just avoid the confusion all right so you can see here so my email id is my email at domain.com and password is pass so in this way you can also write any piece of program and create this kind of function also so that you can call upon as many as time you require in your program so in this way you can hide your secret information without sharing to anyone you got it yes and the python helps you in doing all these things so i think um, you have learned something new in this video and i hope that you'll be implementing this in your future code cheers and keep learning and keep growing thank you if you like the video and wanted to help others then do share this video with them also if you want us to make videos on a specific topic then do let us know we will definitely try to create one for you i will share the code for this project on my website aipython.in very soon share this video to someone who need it thank you so much See you next time with more amazing Python project. Till then, keep learning and keep growing.